Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right. Welcome to Roverland. As I say, this is your friend Dan O. Got something interesting for us on a Monday. Uh, yeah, I got a couple of packages here. Uh, made a quick trip to the Walmarts. Yeah, that'd be uh, Baraboo and uh, Wisconsin Dells. Uh, so, kind of something interesting today. So, hopefully, you'll stick around and uh, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Come on over to Facebook and check us out over there. So, let's get right into it. Um, so I think this first one is the one from, uh, yes, Wisconsin Dells. Got the, uh, some, uh, yeah, the Gen 2, uh, the 1965 Land Rover Gen 2. This is two of them with the original Matchbox, um, roof there. I think that was, no, nope, here's another one. Oh yeah, I got this one too. Where did this come from? I don't know, but I got this one. I didn't know I picked this one up. Yeah, I guess I did. Anyway, uh, so I got the, uh, the Defender 90. Here's a couple more of the uh, uh, Gen 2. This is the Matchbox um, uh, interpretation of the uh, top, the, the new version interpretation. So the next thing that I want to show you, and I think uh, that's the rest of the bag here, is something interesting that I also collect uh, that's not Land Rover. It's not uh, the Big Lebowski either. It's my other favorite movie theme. But bam! Yeah, Jurassic Park. This is the new one. The uh, Domination. Jurassic World Domination. And we have, luckily, I got a complete set. So, interestingly enough, this is um, the newest, greatest one out of the set. I'm just going to tell you that right off the box, uh, right out of the case here. Uh, 2014 Mercedes-Benz G550. This has never been in this livery. And uh, this is not the uh, normal um, Matchbox uh, G-Wagon. The Jurassic Park ones have this grill on the, the bumper guard on the front. So uh, let's just kind of take a look at what I did get here from the Dells Baraboo. Oh yeah, I got another one, so you know what that means. <laughs> but I'm gonna make you I'm gonna make you wait. Jurassic World Domination with these gyrosphere. Gyrosphere, yes. Um, nothing uh, different about that. That's kind of the same release. Unfortunately, um, yeah, we're going to open one of these. <laughs> yeah, I kind of planned that, uh, that we were going to open one. So, uh, yeah, I, I kind of had uh, first pickings, uh, even though the display was a mess. Here is the Armored Action Truck. Uh, chrome blue wheels, a brown color. Yep, pretty neat. Some details there. Now, these are not numbered or anything like that. So, you, um, there is six cars in the set. I, at, the, the, at the Wisconsin Dells one, I only found, what was it, five of them? And I couldn't remember what the other car was. Uh, and so then I'm like, kept digging around and I'm like, oh yeah, that's the other car. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, but I don't think that that's all of them again. I was like, we're missing one. And uh, anyway, so here is the Jeep number 18. Yeah, with a convertible with the bars. The uh, 93 Jeep Wrangler number 18. So that's pretty cool. Another sphere, because uh, I was uh, I wanted two sets could, so I could open one set. Here's the other one, Armored Action Transporter. Yeah. Pretty nice, number 26 on the cab. I don't know what kind of color you call that, but that's another one there, getting down here. Oh yeah, here's the uh, 
armored action truck. Like I said, I, I was trying to pick up two complete sets. And this last one should be, now these are, uh, yep, yeah, here it is, the other one, the uh, transporter. So these um, run the same price as these. Yeah, they're 94 cents, uh, or let's see, 90, 94. Yeah, 94 cents at the, the Walmart. Um, they're, even though they are um, movie related, uh, they don't, and, and, and some, uh, licensed vehicles, they're still uh, 94 cents. So pretty darn cool there. So after I got done with the um, the Wisconsin Dells Walmart, I go over to the Baraboo Walmart, which is uh, not that far away. So I go to both because I've, I've went all that way already. So I might as well stop. So I picked up another couple of these... Uh, Gen 2's. Now these are the uh, Matchbox version of the roof. So uh, we're going to be doing a video on these. We're going to be opening them up. So hold on for that. And so uh, yeah, so then we went and uh, found the Jurassic Park there. And yep, we got the Jeep. Guess what we're going to do with this one? Yeah, we're going to open this one. <laughs> I think I'm going to do a whole nother video on these. I I don't know if we'll have time to open them all up. But we got to the Baraboo one. I'm talking about we. That's my wife and I. Uh, and we found this one. But bam Check it out. Yes. Yeah, so this is the, the last one out of them. Uh, the 93 Ford Explorer number 5. This is the non-damaged one. And uh, really kind of cool. So uh, yeah. So guess what? Uh, I bought a couple of these too, if I can get it unhooked from the bag. Let's see, I bought, bought three of them, yeah, because I wanted to open one and uh, complete the set. I wanted a set and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, really kind of cool on that. And then I got one more Jeep here, uh, 94 cents again for the Jurassic Park stuff. So really, really kind of cool. Uh, I knew they were coming. Uh, the guys from the Diecast Club from uh, Fox Valley, one of them gave me a shout out or a text or a message, said, hey, these are hitting the Walmart. So yeah, it was like a week later and here they are. So what we're gonna do today uh, for sure is uh, we're gonna open one of these G-Wagons and show you. We got time to open, open one G-Wagon. I'm trying to find one that's got a really bum card on it and uh, so we can open that one and kind of preserve the uh, the rest of them for you know the collection uh, uh, let's do this one this one's kind of bent up pretty good huh so we'll do that let's open that one up uh, these the picture that John showed me they were in a tray all standing up you know they were in a tray uh, and uh, but these were all loose on the in the middle of the aisle. There's a whole Jurassic Park uh, thing. Um, there's a Jeep Gladiator chase vehicle for 40 bucks, remote control. So really darn toot and cool. So without further ado, let's get this opened up. I gotta bring it over here to the side so I can uh, get that cut open really nice and kind of preserve the packaging because that's what I do but uh, yeah so if you're a Jurassic Park fan this is really cool uh, I believe there's more that are that will be coming out this is the first series uh, there's a lot of other vehicles that uh, didn't see or didn't get shown you can see there was a little plastic protector thing in there don't really see much more or much less of the graphics but here it is, yes, a nice little green. I don't know what kind of color you call that, but uh, I guess I kind of like it. Actually, the picture in the is a little bit greener. It's more of a tan color. This in the I don't. This is kind of showing up. I don't know the warmth of the lights or something. But it's tan. It's not green. It's tan. I don't know how I can get that to show. But the nice blue windows, 
Like I say, the, the Matchbox release doesn't have this big bull bar on it. So um, it'll say the same thing on the base. And then they did do some changes to it. This back is a little bit smaller. And uh, before it didn't have the emblem, I don't think, and that, that whole thing was painted. But uh, very, very nice. What does it say? Official use only. Yep. So really kind of cool. I like that. We got a little Jurassic Park. That's something else that I uh, love to collect as far as, uh, well, if Hot Wheels did it, I'd probably buy that too. But uh, real, I like to buy the, the real uh, vehicles or whatnot kind of from the movies. So, all right. Well, that's it. I got to get out of here. I hope you enjoy your, your day. Thank you for joining me. And I'm just going to get out of here. Thank you very much. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.